Hello everybody and welcome to another Gear Talk and this time I want to just give you an update on my test of the Pentax A1 Mark II. Before we begin, as usual, if you want to support the channel, put a like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you want to go a step further, check out my books, the links are in the description. And if you want, for this week until the 17th of April, I think, you can get the t-shirts with a 25% of discount using this code, friends and fans 25 on Teesprings. All the links are down in the description. This said, let's talk about a beautiful, beautiful day I had with this camera and uh, airplanes, that is uh, my other passion. Aviation is really something that I love. I love to fly, I love to kind of pilot. I was on my way on a pilot license when I was in the USA. Uh, I didn't go through it uh, uh, for a matter of time, basically. and uh, But it remained my passion and I tried many times to unite uh, uh, aviation and photography. It was very easy when I was uh, in the USA because aviation there is very developed uh, and uh, something that is normal. In Italy it's kind of uh, very difficult because aviation, uh, the general aviation is uh, basically was killed by too much uh, taxation, regulations and so on. Uh, there's, uh, there are uh, some motives uh, about that but I, I don't want to make this video too long so uh, I will post down uh, in the link there's uh, an article on my blog on my website uh, that talks uh, also about uh, uh, all the kind of uh, a little bit of history aviation and why it is so difficult in Italy uh, to uh, get, have access to aviation. Uh, basically you cannot just walk in an airport and find general aviation. It's not there. Uh, it, uh, general aviation is almost non-existent. So to get this patient together, I start to look for what is the light sport aviation and uh, I was asking for some information uh, online on a group on Facebook and uh, a great guy, Sergio, was, uh, he answered me, he invited me to see this uh, airfield, this is in Castelletto Stura near Cuneo beautiful, uh, beautiful really airfield where there's a group of uh, absolutely passionate people, uh, something that uh, is, a, is a rare place to find in Italy. Usually uh, groups around aviation are pretty close on themselves, uh, they don't look very well at people coming from outside. Uh, this is uh, an exception and uh, it was a fantastic day. So. Um, we organized, it was a Sunday morning, beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful, beautiful sky. And uh, it, there was some wind in the days before, still some breeze in the, uh, on the Sunday morning, so uh, the sky was perfectly clear, something that is uh, not common here. Y usually there's uh, always a little bit of haze uh, around uh, that covers the mountains. Uh, that day was fantastic with the... Uh, 360 degree view on the mountains, it was possible to see uh, all the Alps around and uh, it was really, really a fantastic, fantastic day to be there. And by the way, I also had uh, a flight with him and finally I was back again in an airplane after uh, some years and that was uh, absolutely, absolutely a fantastic day. So uh, really a lot of uh, thanks to Sergio for organizing this. And by the way, it's always nice also to when you meet uh, very, very nice uh, people. So that was uh, a great day. And uh, it was a great day also with this uh, K1 Mark II. Uh, I'm using this camera and uh, I will do the, the full review uh, when I have, I think in a couple of weeks uh, I will give back this camera, get another one that uh, will be fun and uh, 
I will do the full review of this camera. I'm not uh, going to do something, I, with this camera I don't want to do something that is uh, uh, specific, technical, all these kind of things. There's a, it's not a new camera, uh, so there's a lot of, uh, there's already a lot of articles and videos that talks about uh, the specific and uh, kind of views. Here what I really like is to have uh, an impression to see if something that I can use uh, every day, that is something that is comfortable, this uh, camera that gives uh, good quality in all the situations I normally use. And uh, um, I wanted really to do something uh, with this camera that was fun for me, uh, not just uh, using the camera but also choosing the subject. So you will see that uh, in the video. I can tell you that uh, uh, those day was fantastic and here is a little slideshow it's a few pictures of the of the day and uh, i'll tell you something more later So as I said, it was a beautiful day and I arrived and uh, I was looking around and there was uh, this uh, beautiful surrounding of the mountains and I decided to uh, not to concentrate uh, on details or something like that. If it's a bad day with uh, usual aids or something like that, uh, it's much better to concentrate uh, close on the subject. In this case I wanted to have uh, all the ambient around, all the scenery around inside the picture. So I decided, okay, let's go with a wide angle. And uh, I took and was, uh, I tried for a moment, the 20 millimeters was, no, this is too much. Uh, so I took the 31 millimeter 1.8. And you can see our view here. And uh, this is a lens that the first time I used, I was, Meh. then I started to use it. And more I use it, more I like this lens, more I like the results of this lens. And uh, more I like uh, how easy it is to use this lens. So I decided with the 31 millimeter, and I took all the pictures with the 31 millimeter because the angle was perfect for the situation. So what I loved uh, using the this camera is uh, first of all it's easy. The image quality is fantastic. The exposure meter works very well, and. Uh, Finally, it's a camera with uh, some weight in it. Um, I'm using the mirrorless, something like that. They are light and 
on one side is very positive because uh, it's very positive to have the weight on your arm and so on. On the other side, they like some inertia, so are very sensitive to little movements and so on. Uh, with this, you have some inertia and uh, it's easy to keep the camera very, very stable. And uh, so that was uh, fantastic. As you see in the video, there's only uh, one picture or two from the plane. There are really few pictures uh, from plane because uh, uh, sometimes patients are competing to each other and uh, with each other. And uh, for me, it was okay. I'm finally up again in an airplane. I just enjoy it. <laughs> and uh, uh, kind of photography went uh, on the you know uh, second place <laughs> and uh, aviation was on the first one so i hope you enjoyed this little update uh, yeah, i hope you enjoyed the pictures that i took and uh, if you want to know something more about the day about uh, aviation in italy and so on uh, jump on my website there's the link down there and i put the the link to the to the blog where i write an article uh, explaining not just uh, this beautiful day and showing the pictures but uh, explaining also uh, my attachment to aviation my passion for aviation and uh, and the situation of aviation in italy compared to other places in the world thank you very much for watching see you next time and remember if you want to support the channel put a like subscribe share with your friends Check my t-shirt, 20%, 25% discount uh, with the code friends and fans on tspring.com. And check out the books and everything down in the description. Thank you again for watching. See you next time.